I was hoping that would have more ASMR effect than I usually start these videos that way. What's up everybody, it's me, Majava T, out here today to do a video on whatever I feel like. That's been the theme of the channel lately. 890 plus subscribers. Let's freaking go. You see these? See these? These are, these, every subscriber builds my muscles even more and my, my, my emotions. Thank you, everybody. It's been a blessing and it, I'm just going to keep going until this train don't go. <laughs> Subscribe if you're new and uh, let's get talking. Today is going to be a little more off the cuff, but I still want to talk generally. The themes are going to be kind of like goal setting and then also not beating yourself up. I think that one thing I've been thinking about is being your best self. That's something that I think a lot of these motivational people will present, like always be your best self or like, you know, there's no time like the present. Even I just said that, right? That was my most recent video. But I want to focus on being your best self sometimes. It isn't realistic to always be your best self. You just can't. If you're dead tired after work, how are you going to be your best self and pursue the things you want? You have to kind of like microdose your best self and you need to forgive yourself for not being your best self. It's okay. It's totally fine. I mean, I think from a very productive mindset, and this is going to be more so catered towards people who are of a similar mindset, but I guess it could apply to those who maybe are not as motivated to do stuff either. I think we always feel this drive to be doing something great, to be achieving greatness. It's part of our legacy as people. And when you don't do that, you start to beat yourself up. Man, I really wish I did this. I wish I did that. Lately, I've been wanting to get into running, get back into it. I used to run in high school. I was fast, man. My best mile time was five minutes and 25 seconds. And I stopped running when I was 15. Why? Well, I had a couple other things going on. I was on a swim team and I focused on that and I focused on academics and then I kind of focused on my social life and I, I got pulled in all these different directions and I never got back into running. And I think I started to lose sight of being my best version of myself doing the thing that I loved the most. I happened to be running and, and doing that sport and I've kind of beat around the bush. Now, there are things that complicated my reasons for not sticking with running. I mean, it's high school. You want to be cool. You want to fit in. You want to be popular. And quite frankly, track and field wasn't popular. It's just, but I was good at it. So it's like you have these conflicting morals uh, at the time. So you have to forgive yourself for not being what you could have been then. And even in the moment, if you're tired, take a break, take a breath. It's not that deep. You don't have to get all the way into publishing videos every single day. I don't know anybody who's pushed out that advice, by the way, in eight years, but I feel like at one point in YouTube history, that was the advice. Make a video every day. The algorithm only likes you if you post videos every day. It's not realistic. Just do what you can and be your best version of yourself. Quite frankly, if you're doing too much, you're hurting yourself. If you're posting videos every day, you're probably not putting the right effort into each one of those videos. You're probably rushing the process. Uh, granted, I have been streaming every day, but I see streaming a little differently. It's kind of, I just kind of come out and stream and do what I want like this. And that's kind of the thing too. You know, I could, I could be working on videos. I could be working on scripts. I could be working on concepts. I could be saving money. I could be selling things. I could be cleaning, but I'm streaming. It doesn't matter because I'm not trying to be my best self at that time, but I am when it counts. Lately, I've put out some video projects I'm incredibly pr proud of on the other channel and you know, I've been going through these Zelda games, like, and it's been a blessing. And I just want to be able to do it without burning out. This is the key to not burning out, is to do it sometimes. Do it when you can. So even, I, you know, I've been big into the fitness over the past year. You cannot work out. Um, I'm not saying this right. If you, if you do too much working out, one, you actually do will hurt yourself. And... Two, you, you may not be doing it in a way that is conducive with your goals. So if I ran every day, you can bet these kneecaps are going to bust and I won't be able to run for two months. But if I do it once a week and I focus on my time, well, you know, I will slowly see progress and I'll be doing it in a way that's sustainable. 
my mile today, I ran this morning for the first time in over a year on a track and field. I just found a public one and I actually couldn't finish. I couldn't finish running the mile. I did finish the mile and I walked the last lap to do so, but I, my lungs were winded after three laps. And it's sad because I used to be a very fast runner and now I'm I, I, with the walking time, it added to 10 minutes and 50 seconds or 51. Actually, let me see the clock. I think I have it here. I think it is 10 51. No, it's on the phone, which I'm using to record this video. Oh, well, but it, it was roughly give or take 10 minutes, 51 seconds. And that's like double my time, right? Like that's actually double my time, 525. It doesn't matter because I may not be my best self like this morning, but it doesn't mean I, I can't be next time. And that was my best version of myself at this time. So I'll just keep working on it. And I think when you know what your best self is, you can kind of work towards that goal. Oh, I, know, I wanna get back to around a six minute mile, maybe a sub six if I'm really, I don't know, I'm getting older, so it may not be possible, but I would love to get back to a sub six. Like that would be great. That would be like me achieving my ambitions right now. So have a best self that you can be sometimes and give yourself a break the rest of the time because you really need the time to reflect and become that better version of yourself. You should never stop improving. I mean, maybe when you're like 80 or 90 years old, you're going to start regressing. So whatever. But for now, I'm, I'm sure I don't have a lot of 80 or 90 year olds watching this video. Be your best version of yourself. Even then, when you're 80 or 90, be your best version of yourself. Do the best things you can. Don't just wither and die if you don't have to. Listen, I don't want Alzheimer's. You know, I had, I had Alzheimer's in the family and it is tragic to see and I would love to keep my brain strong in order to prevent that. And my body. I think it's very important to have a, a healthy body. So, you know, I understand it may not be possible all the time, but you should still do it sometimes. I don't think you should let yourself go like too bad. You know, stay active. I, and you know, some of these number of things, they're artificial, right? Like it's like, does it matter how many times a week you go to the gym? Maybe. Does it matter how many books you read a month? Maybe. Uh, does it matter that you do it sometimes? Yes, you have to do it sometimes. You have to eat healthy sometimes. You have to work your brain sometimes. You have to st keep your body active sometimes. You can't do it 24 seven. You need to sleep, you need to rest, you need to recover. And even when you're not sleeping, there are times you need to recover. So get your rest in order to be your best version of yourself when you can. So I shared a couple of my goals, my running goals, and then uh, I don't really have a strong reading goal right now, but it is on the back of my mind. It's something I'd like to do. I really struggle with books because if I'm not interested, I check out. But I think I would like to maintain a pace of one book every two months. And it's gonna be hard. I'm going back into the school year, but I think that's reasonable. Six books a year, why not? So, and then, you know, I have the running. I also have money goals. I just, I have to save as much as possible. So that's not even, I'm not even thinking about that. You know, I'm, I just, I do that naturally anyway. So go ahead and share me what are some major goals that you're working on right now? Of course, ones you're comfortable with, and I'd love to know what you're doing to reach them and what your best version of yourself looks like today. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a great time. Enjoy being your best self and working towards becoming it.